So here we have Galpy vs Vices. This is round three of Hold That L, the JML online tournament. We've got um we're probably gonna be a little bit of a so it's definitely Snake out of Vices, but Galpy's been playing a few other characters. And this young is gonna start off with a yeah, he's gonna start off with Alright. Gonna lock that in. Uh, I know he's been starting off other sets with Rory, but um it sort of had like a rough showing against Nassing Bay in round two, so I can definitely see it having a young link here, and I can see I can see the thought of it wanting to do young link against Snake especially. Um Snake a little bit rough to play against for, for some characters, so um he might be able to like just go like you're gonna throw projectiles at me, I'm gonna throw projectiles back. But this is probably quite contrary to the normal sets out of um get between Galpy and Vice, so I'm not sure if he knows how to play against his Snake, like the entire projectile wall game against Snake, but let's see if he can do it right here, that grenade gonna get shielded, a bit rough here, and um, they're just trading um, hits every now and then, using that grenade, it can be sort of rough as um, a fighter character against Snake, because he is so heavy, so every time um, grenade trades do happen, it, it can be harsh, Especially on a character like Young Leaf, who has a lot of multi hits, but a lot of like hits that don't do a lot of meaty damage in and of itself. So, both players are just gonna have a bit of distance between both players. Not a lot of CPC going on, just little spurts here and there, but um, probably the, the stick is at kill percent. It, it can be hard for. Oh, that's it. No. I don't know what happened there, I think she thought she was going to grab the ledge, but it didn't come out from there. Like, yeah, that F smash is a bit ambitious, but um, Galpy's just going to punish that. It's nice and easy for him to We'll see um, Vice is returning to her usual game plan of just like the, the sort of grenades, the, the try and true snake. Galpy, he seems. He's swapping in between, like, keeping a lot of space between both players, and he's going in sometimes, just testing both. He's kind of... He's just swapping up the pace a lot, right? Where sometimes he's staying really, really far away and just going for dead fouls, but it's... If you do that, your opponent tends to get punished. Very well. That is not going to work out for him, so he's going to get punished for by that season four right there. Um, Vice is a player that kills with a lot of C4 and a little bit of uptick, so you really gotta remember where that C4 is, because it, if you don't, then Vice can have trouble doing sometimes. Um, she does find F smashes from time to time, but Snake's F smash is very, very slow move, so it's hardly something that you would have to completely rely on. Anyway, Vice is at 133%, there's quite a big percent differential between both players, but, um, just see that uh, Galpy managed to get that hero spin into the up air right there, it probably wasn't true, but it hit anyway, so, very nice combo. He's got quite the lead right now against that snake, just because he took that stop. Because even though he did have the percent lead before, it doesn't mean much unless you take that stop, especially on a character like Young Link, where um, it can be hard to kill sometimes. But Galpy having no shortage of ways to kill this snake right here, he he took the stock and he's immediately swapped game plans and you can tell that he made a deliberate choice to start sitting back. He doesn't want to interact with the snake at all and he wants to increase his late quite a bit because any single stray hit that hits right here is good for him and it means that um, in terms of actually just psychology to both players, it means that your opponent's more likely to take more risks, so you might be able to find a kill opportunity. Anyway, oh that's unfortunate right there. Vice is uh, SD, not, not hitting that ledge. Galpy's gonna two stop the Vices, so f right here. And it was looking pretty, pretty fine for the f most of that first stop. The second stop, like, sort of like, there was a bit more of a percent differential between both players, but like, nothing that you can't make back, especially when a character with overwhelming kill power like Snake. But that, once, once that second stop was taken, Galpy just did like 90 to 100 percent stop uh, percent straight and in terms of like play psychology like um sometimes when you are behind a stop especially or if like your opponent at kill percent and um you aren't able to kill them it's, it's sort of like it, it gets into your head a little bit right because um say like your opponent's at 100 percent for like a minute 
likely you are more likely to take a lot more risks to try to get that stock just because they haven't died in so long and when I'm playing against a, a, especially a low less level player and I'm at high percent then I'll actually play a lot less risky and I'll just play completely like just like I'm just gonna wait for you to do a mistake and I'm gonna punish it because um people are more likely to make more mistakes when they're getting a bit panicky a little bit uh frantic. And like, you see, saw like Galpy had that like change of pace and it's those sort of change of paces that shows a little bit of experience when you're playing this game. Where you do understand where your opponent's mind is at. Anyway, that was all the way in the last game. We are well into the second game right now, 30 seconds in. Pretty even between both players right now. But if it's anything like the last game, the fight is really... Once to make a, something happen right here, get the lead for once in this set so far. But anytime Vices gets a small lead, like a 20-30% lead, Galpy answers right back, so definitely no big differential between both players right there. It's the back there one to be up smash, not gonna kill just yet because it can have a bit of trouble killing. I believe the center C4 is center stage a little bit towards the left of that. That center stage platform up here, not gonna find it. Ooh, that's a scary position to be in, but Galfi just gets a grab, throws Vice's back off stage, and that F throw's gonna kill the young link buffs. I'm pretty sure Philly did not expect that to kill her right there. Anyway, right here, Galfi has a small lead right now, and you can see that what I was talking about just before being put into work as Galfi is at hook percent and Ophelia really wants to find some sort of kill move, maybe an up or that sort of thing, maybe a down throw, but Galfi's just starting to play a lot less, a lot more defensive, not really going for anything. 2-2. Two, two. See, like, he's just throwing a lot more projectiles, and they're, they're, they're hitting a lot more. And every time Ophelia gets hit right here, it's, it's quite damaging. But the C4 gonna blow up right there, just times out right under Galfi's. Um, Feet and it gives Philly a little bit of a second burst. Up beat to the back air, increasing his lead ever so slightly. Not going to able to find that landing right there. Did not know that Young Link's up smash did not reach the smash dot platforms. I believe it will reach the battlefield platforms, but not quite on this stage. That fair one almost would have been killed, but that's going to be killed right there. That up smash taking out that stock, and Alfie has the stock lead right now against. Vices and Vices is already starting to go into his face back here a little bit more, but we'll see if Vices can sort of let's just stay calm right here. You, you really need to get this young link off stage and keep center stage, get less trapping. Um, young link can have a little bit of trouble fighting back on the ledge, so um, just be like up smash a few times, keep on that ledge, and top him a few times off stage. Oh, that F smash was such a read! It was so good from Vices right there. It would have been what would have made the set, it would have brought her back into the set, but it's not gonna work out. That F smash catching the landing. Oh no, that bomb throw is not what you want. Def definitely. Vices just bailing out of there with the cipher, but Galfi not not punishing it. Alright, that up tilt, finally you have a bit of breathing room against this young link right here, but Galfi's definitely putting a lot more pressure on right now. Fair one down smash not working out. Galfi really wants to find this kill right here, because this snake is at 170%, and you really want to find that killing move. F throw is not going to do it, snake's a bit too heavy. He's putting pressure on, and uh, I was unable to uh, punish that air dodge right there. That boomerang was definitely not what he wanted. But if, if um, Vice is calms down right here, then it's a really good spot to be in because Galfi's starting to get frantic himself. I've thrown to see him throw out a lot more kill opportunities, that sort of thing. 180% and every single one of these hits that happen and um, Vices doesn't die means a bit more damage to uh, Galfi's mental state that that F will finally take the stock before it snowballs out of control. Galfi taking the second set to oh, uh, two stock as well, but he was definitely having a lot more trouble killing that snake in that last stock. He's spent so long chasing that snake around. There's a little bit of momentum in Vice's side right there, getting back towards that set. And we'll see if that momentum carries into the next game, because if it does, then Galfi's definitely going to have a little bit of trouble. But I, I, I still expect this set to be a 3-0, just because 
um, Galp is a really, really strong player in and of his own right, and he's also really good at this specifically, um, because it is one of Shulk's, it's probably Shulk's roughest matchup, where he's grinded that matchup so, so much, where playing against Vices, or against My Snake, or against Raid Snake, and I know that he's, he's practiced a, a slew of different characters as well, mainly the Fox. Well, back to the a bit more patient gameplay between both players. Um, the small lead from Galpy right there, that combo is going to increase his lead ever so slightly up B into the up air. He's going to be a bit mid missing up the BNB a little bit, but he's still doing quite a bit of damage towards this snake right here. Ooh, forward air neutral is not what you want, but um, a bit of a misinput. Might be a little bit of online talking right there, but if it messes you up, then you're just going to hold that L head. Fair one, down tilt's definitely what it, not what he wanted, maybe not so much right there, but Rando F smash and neutral, not gonna work out for Vices. If it was any other snake, I would say, I would have said that they're starting with that, but I know Vices, and Vices really just likes to go for Rando F smash sometimes, and that back throw into the forward air! Statement right there, killing that young really, really early, that would have been her chance, but Galpi like, answering right back with that, that um, F throw, making sure that Ophelia does not take control of this game right here. But if Ophelia was able to keep onto that stock, then it would have been really, really strong. Up smash, gonna catch him out, up there in the air, but oh, down is a little bit of a weird anti-air option, maybe one of the air right there, might have been a missing. I do know that um, Vice is not the best usage of um, the aerials in Snake's game, especially um, probably the most used aerial, which is down here. Or back here. A lot more aerials coming out of Vice's right now. I've noticed a lot of the aerials being thrown out in the last 15 or so seconds, but um, it might be trying something new because those dash attacks aren't really, really good. You can apply those, those arrows on the floor. Pretty even between both players right now, but Snake is a lot heavier of a character and has a lot easier of a time killing. There's a few moves that will kill here, up tilt, and also side uh, F tilt at the ledge, down smash as well. Down is not gonna work out. Yeah, that's that roll in, that dash attack, and Vice is keeping good control of this stage so far, exploring that Nikita on the stage. If you don't know, um, exploring the Nikita on the stage is so that the explosion happens, so that your, it will hit your gun. It can sort of like take people by surprise sometimes, because um, they're expecting the Nikita to come at them, so they, they delay their air jump a little bit more. They just get hit by the Nikita, because they're not expecting it to explode that early. Up the, into the up there, very good out Galfi right there. It definitely wasn't true because I saw Vices manage to sneak in an air dodge right here. Grenade or um, maybe an air dodge might save at those sort of percents. Alright, both players last stock right now. Pretty even so far, but Vices is definitely doing a lot better than both other sets. He's bringing Galpi to his last stock, but really needs to take the stock here. Vices wants any chance of making a 3 0 combat again right now against this young league. A little bit of a awkward situation right there as Vices gets hit by four arrows in a row. I believe Vices actually didn't have a jump there, so not much Vices could have done to get out of that situation. That arrow just puts you in such an awkward spot, especially if you're a heavy character and the bigger characters as well. Bear one down to the forward air, not gonna be the combo that you want from Galpy right there. But he's just, just keeping center stage right now against the snake. Although there's this 50% difference percent differential like I've been saying. Snake does kill so much earlier than Young Link. So that back one, a back one up smash. Galpi definitely not at the loss of kill moves for the, against the snake right now, but he's gonna take that set 3-0 against Vices. Very good job the Vices as well. Bring that set closer towards the end.